Alright, so for this graphics tutorial and C Sharp, I'm going to be showing you how to use timers. So we're going to use the timer to control the progress bar that we made earlier. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is add uh, two variables to control the um, the how the current amount of the bar and the total amount, which is what we used. Um, the numerical values over here to do earlier. Um, I'm going to replace them because it's easier to control and also faster. Not to mention more professional to use variables to control your um, progress bar instead of numerical up and downs. So um, first it's going to be called the total and that's going to be equal to we'll make it out of a hundred and that would be the total amount that the progress bar covers. So if, if the current value, and we'll add that to current, uh, is equal to say 50, I'm actually going to make it equal to 100 right now because I'm going to start it at full. But if it was equal to 50, it would show the progress bar at half full. So we're going to go in down here and replace those two variables in here. So instead of having numerical 1, which, if I'm correct, and I'll check the percent um, uh, total. Okay, yes, total comes first. So total, and then in here, I'll go and put the current. And there we are. Now, why is that having a problem? Oh, I must have gotten rid of the bracket. Oops. There we go. No problems. Now let's uh, test that out, make sure it's working. Draw. Alright, yes, and it's fully open, fully full. Fully full. Alright. Um, so we have a draw bar method here that we will be using um, and in a timer. So now to get the timer. So we'll put some space here, we'll go timer. And we'll call it just T or you could call it clock or my timer or whatever. I'm going to call it T equals new timer. And then our um, form.load. Did I make that? No. Okay. Yeah. Double click this. And that'll give us a form load function which runs when the form loads. And we'll um, say actually T dot interval. This means how often does that. Um, timer run. So uh, this is done in milliseconds. So a thousand would be every second. Um, oops. Equals. Now um, this would run every second. So the commands that you have in t dot tick. Now this is going to be an operator. So what I'm going to do is well it's event. So you go plus equals. Hit tab twice and it adds it automatically for you. So basically this interval being at a thousand is going to run once every second. So the code that you put in here, in fact, in between these two brackets, will run once every second after you start this timer. And we'll go ahead and do t dot start here to get it started. Now, what I'm going to do here is um, I have a draw. Do, use the draw bar method. So we go draw. No, ah, not draw. Draw bar. And then the color, we're going to go brushes dot, and we'll just make it red. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement to control where the current amount is. So we're going to be adding to the current amount, or actually subtracting first. And when it reaches zero, it'll start adding. So we'll go um, if current oops current is less than um, total we'll do less than or equal to so that the current can be added up until total and then we're going to go down here and go current plus plus now what that does is plus plus put after a integer type value or numerical value of just about any sort. 
is going to add 1. Um, minus minus will subtract 1. Um, however, I want this to go a little bit quicker since it's out of 100, and, and since actually I can just go and make this variable, sm this interval smaller, which will make it um, run more often, so we can leave that at plus plus. But you could also do, if you want to go down faster instead of just adding 1, you can go plus equals 2, and now it add 2, or you go 100. But um, we're just going to leave it at 1. So plus plus is the same as plus equals 1. It's just quicker to write. Now, then we'll do um, else. Oh, wait, no. And we can go if current is, um, actually, no. Yeah, if current is greater than 0. Now, I don't want it to go exactly down to 0. It could, but that'd probably cause me a problem when it tries to find a percentage of it. So it's going to go down to 1. We'll go current minus minus. Now, I do need to do one more thing, and that's to set a bool value, which is a true or false value, to determine whether it's ascending or getting greater like this or descending like this because what's going to happen is it'll add it and they'll be like well it is greater than zero and then it'll subtract it so it really won't do anything so we're going to go up here and add right underneath here we go call it bool adding equals uh, false because we have set the current value as 100 so first thing we need to do is actually make a subtract so um, what we're going to do here is go um, if adding, and that means if adding is true, equal to true, which it's not, uh, then we do um, this, else, oops, then it will run that. Now, um, we should also have something that says, in fact, I'm going to make this to 1, because that way it won't ever equal 0. We can go, um, also if statement says if current is equal to 1, adding equals true. And then we're going to copy that it'll be easier just to switch the variables. Current is equal to 100. Then we go adding equals false. And um, so basically what happens here is we've set the current value to 100 and the total value to 100. So it's the first time it draws it's going to be completely full. We've also set a timer here. Uh, the timer interval is set to be 10 milliseconds. This is going to run 100 times every second. So it'll take it approximately a second to go from fully full down to empty and then back, and, which is in this timer here. So every time that ticks, it's going to run all this code. Now what this code does is it checks. It says, it, are we adding to it? If we are, then while the current well, if the current value is less than or equal to the total, then add. In fact, we probably need to get rid of that equal sign because if it's, say, at 99 and total is at 100, it's going to run it one more time. It's going to be equal to 100. And then this will run and say adding, it's no longer adding. It needs to start subtracting. And so this else statement says, okay, so now adding is equal to false. So it's not true. So this no longer runs. But it goes this else statement, and this runs. All right. And then this checks and goes, OK, it's greater than 1, so minus minus. So when it's equal to 2, it's going to subtract one more time, maybe equal to 1. And once equal to 1, it'll make adding true, and it'll go back and start this thing over again. At least that's how it should work. Now we have, and we have the draw bar down here, so let's test that out. Okay, it goes down and back up. Down and back up. Alright, so that does work. 
Alright, well that's the end of this graphics tutorial. So there will be more on the way though.